This is uh, perhaps the most wild video I've ever seen. A man who lost his son to an illegal Haitian migrant. Uh, he lost his very, very young son, again, to an illegal Haitian migrant. Did a press conference yesterday. I don't know. It's been maybe a week since he buried him or something. Did a press conference to say, and I quote, I wish it had been done by a 60-year-old white man instead. I will play the video for you uh, because it's like unimaginable. Look, obviously this man is going through grief. I, I think... I think he's been coerced by the Kamala Harris campaign to come out and say this and use his son's passing as a cudgel against Donald Trump. I 110% understand, first of all, if something like, let's say something happened to my wife and it was not an inherently political issue and people were using her for political gain, I would definitely say, hey, I don't appreciate that. You know, she didn't have any part, anything to do with it. But what happened to this man's son is inherently political. An illegal, um, you know, hey, or I'm sorry, uh, a Haitian migrant, I don't know if he was illegal or illegal, uh, you know, ran into the bus and, and an 11 year old is no longer with us. And the reason I say that it seems coordinated, it seems like the left paid for it, is because there's been a hundred articles written about it. You know, he doesn't seem to have a problem with NBC News, the Huffington Post or anybody else politicizing this, right? Father, here's NBC News, father of 11 year old um, that a Haitian migrant uh, took the life of, slams Trump in Vance. New York Times, Ohio man tells Trump in Vance to stop using his son's to sp name to spread hate. Um, that's, so is he pointing out that when the left does it? Huffington Post, father of boy who passed away, in Ohio bus crash, rips Vance and Trump. So all of these news media outlets are saying, ha ha, oh my God, it's just so bad. The, the father of a man whose son just passed away came out and said, please stop politicizing my son. And then they immediately, without hesitation, politicize this man losing his son and use it as political fodder against Donald Trump and J.D. Vance. Should you be using the guy's kid? No, I don't think so. However, immigration, illegal immigration, is a big issue in this country, okay? The migrant crisis where they're literally taking over cities because they're flown in, you know, 20,000 into a town of 60,000. What do you think it does to that city? It's collapsing under the weight of it. Veterans can't get health care. I mean... These people can't drive, speak English, or read. You basically inundated a small town with 20,000 toddlers who have unlimited government spending cash and they have uh, uh, dr driver's licenses and cars and they're running into everything and they're running over trash cans, causing accidents. This is insurance. I just watched a video from a guy yesterday. His insurance went up to $400 a month because the Haitians are getting in so many accidents. Not his fault, right? Every single one of these news outlets politicized the passing of this man's son. Every one of them, right? Here you have <clears throat> J.D. Vance repeats baseless claim about Haitian immigrants. How about this? Springfield resident says Haitians are decapitating and eating ducks. The press is the enemy of the people. Um, this is... I, I, there's just no way that I can, I mean, I, it seems like this, look, I don't want anybody sending this guy any kind of negativity or anything like that. I thought what he was going to say was, I wish it would be some old white guy because he would at least get justice because they're not trying a lot of these people. In our best interest to be here after recent comments. You know, I wish that my son, Aiden Clark, was killed by a 60-year-old white man. He literally said what I said he would say. 
I bet you never thought anyone would ever say something so stupid. But He's literally standing on his son's grave to virtue signal. That guy Who told him to do that? I can't imagine. He buried his son like days before this. Now he's doing a press conference to say Donald Trump bad. I killed my 11 year old son. The incessant group of hate spewing people would leave us alone. The last thing that we need is to have the worst day of our lives violently. This woman looks like she's smelling or smiling, by the way. But even that's not good enough for them. They take it one step further. They make it seem. Do they have any evidence? By the way, why on earth? Why on earth are people going after them? They're, they're, why would anybody be going after the father? That doesn't make any sense to me. I'm telling you, it is my opinion that these people are probably long-term de long Democrats and somebody convinced them to do this. I can't think of any other reason for it. As though our wonderful Aiden appreciates your hate, that we should follow their hate. And look what you've done to us. We have to get up here and beg them to stop. Who? Who? Using Aiden as a political tool is, to say the least, reprehensible for any political purpose. Well, the Huffington Post did it. NBC News did it. New York Times did it. And speaking of morally bankrupt, politicians, Bernie Moreno, Chip Roy, J.D. Vance and Donald Trump. They have spoken my son's name and used his death for political gain. This needs to stop now. They can vomit all the hate they want about illegal immigrants, the border crisis, and even untrue claims about fluffy pets being ravaged and eaten by community members. This, what? Bro. Bro, he, his 11 year old passed away and, and he, he, what, how is his, what is his reaction to get up and virtue signal for the immigrants? Now, again, I don't think hash, I don't think every immigrant is bad. I don't think every, um, you know, I don't, I don't think I just want people to immigrate legally. I think that's extremely reasonable thing to, to say or request. And, uh, you know what? Why don't we do a formal investigation into, you know, I don't know, about a dozen or so first and second hand accounts that people are driving around picking up cats down there? I didn't make that up. Springfield residents are saying that. They're saying they're calling 911 and saying they're seeing Haitians walking around with geese that they that they're going to eat. Okay? Now, I don't know why on earth they're eating the geese because the government is giving unlimited money to them. But that's what they're saying. It's not me saying that. It's not Donald Trump saying that. The locals are saying that. So as a local, why on earth would you get up there and and like be virtue signaling signaling about immigration days after your son's passing? It is this is like you see this man of Stockholm syndrome is truly sad and shameful that he's now denigrating Trump, denigrating Trump and all the others who want to solve this crisis, but apparently he thinks it should go on even after one of those illegal aliens took his son's life. This is demonic. Do they send people from the government to make families do this? I would think so. Obviously, I, I can't know that for sure. I don't know that for a fact, but imagine. Imagine saying that you wish that your child had lost their life to somebody different. I mean... How about saying, I wish that nobody would take my son's life. They are terrible parents. They should never have kids. Sick to honor your kid like this. I mean, what is going on? Now this guy is probably going to get people, parents, outraged that politicians are exploiting their son's death for political reasons. Also, parents, use son's death as an opportunity to condemn morally bankrupt politicians that they disagree with. Almost certainly somebody like Kamala Harris probably uh, has said this, has brought it up. Uh, it's, you know, almost certainly, right? 
the whole thing is revolting. The parents are ill. What a disgusting statement after someone took their son's life. Your child, you know, I, again, why not say, I wish that, you know, this didn't happen at all? In our best interest to be from Springfield, Ohio. I will listen to them one more time to hear their apologies. To clear the air, my son, Aiden Clark, was not murdered. He was accidentally killed by an immigrant from Haiti. What? Well, that is true. That part is true. Because these people don't know how to drive. They're getting in nonstop accidents there. That's not me saying this, my Haitians can't drive. This is me reporting on what people in Springfield, Ohio are saying based on reporting on the ground. This tragedy is felt all over this community, the state, and even the nation. But don't spin this towards hate. In order to live like Aiden, you need to accept everyone. Choose to shine, make the difference, lead the way, and be the inspiration. What many people buy our shirt, buy our shirt. What is going on? I get it, not wanting. Look, if it was my son, I wouldn't want his face plastered all over the news and being used by Democrats. I get that. But like, Gadzooks, what a just a what a absolute. I don't know what to say. Now this guy's going to get criticism for sure. I don't believe for one second that anybody was sending hate this guy's way. Now I bet you people are. Politics have absolutely completely ruined people's brains. Look at this. Taylor just wrote, lists I've taken in Springfield, Ohio, have all been Haitians. Only one has spoken English so far. The last one I took had the e-brake engaged the entire time while driving. I mean, for, I mean, why do you think, why do these people have driver's licenses? Can they drive? If they can't read, how are they reading the stop signs? This is just when politics just completely rots your brain. Yikes.